Hey everybody, Mr. Mathblog here. This lesson is problem solving with addition and subtraction. So this is uh, lesson six, nine in our textbook we're following. Here's our common course strand. And our question is how can we use the strategy uh, working backwards to help uh, solve problems with addition and subtraction uh, with fractions? Okay, so here's an example. John bought a total of four pounds of fruit. Seven tenths pounds were apples, three uh, fifths pounds were oranges, and the rest uh, uh, was bananas. So how much did the bananas weigh altogether? Okay, so they give us a list of questions right here. Let's go through and see if we can break them down. So what do we need to find? Well, this is always our last piece right here, our last sentence. So we need to find out how much the bananas weighed right there. Okay, so um, uh, what information did we uh, will we use? Well, we need to use the weight of the uh, of the apples and the weight of the oranges, and then what we're going to do uh, and the total weight of all the fruit. Okay, and then how are we going to use this? Well, we're in this uh, lesson we're going to work backwards by starting with the weight of the apples and the oranges, and then subtract those from uh, the weight. Uh, to find out how much is left and this is how they do that so so addition and subtraction are inverse operations of each other so by working backwards and using the same numbers one operation undoes the other operation so here we go we're going to write an equation right here so the weight of the apples plus the weight of the oranges plus the bananas is going to equal how, the total weight of all the fruit and they told us the the total weight of all the fruit was was four pounds okay so the apples weighed seven tenths and the and the oranges weighed three fifths of a pound and now we're going to go ahead and work backwards so what we're going to do is take the total weight and we're going to subtract off the apples and then subtract off the oranges and that'll give us the leftover weight which is going to be the bananas right there okay so let's go ahead and plug those numbers in right there and let's just slide that up right there alright so now what we're going to do is get common denominators of 10 okay 4 is 4 over 1 and this is over 10 and since 5 goes into 10 then the common denominator is going to be 10 so let's change 40 to I'm sorry let's change 4 which is 4 over 1 to 40 over 10 because 10 goes into 44 times so we just multiplied it by 1 but our 1 was 10 over 10 that way we got common denominators and similarly uh, 3 fifths we multiplied it by 2 over 2 so we can get 10 in the denominator there so 3 fifths equals 6 tenths so when we get common denominators there we go and then we can go ahead and subtract okay so now we just subtract the numerator. So 40 minus 7 is 33, and then 33 minus 6 is going to get us uh, 27. So this comes out to be 27 tenths. All right, and then 27 tenths is the same as um, uh, 10 tenths plus 10 tenths plus 7 tenths. And then this 10 tenths equals 1. This 10 tenths also equals 1. So these two add up to 2. So it's 2 and this left over 7 tenths right there. Okay, so the bananas uh, weighed 2 and 7 tenths of a pound. All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So here, Melissa is making decorative braids using ropes. She starts with a rope that's 36 feet long. From this rope, she uh, first cuts one piece but does not know its length. Then she cuts a piece that is six and a half feet long, and then uh, the leftover piece is seven and three fourths feet long. So what is the length of the first piece uh, cut from the strip? Okay, so it's going to be the first piece, which is unknown. We'll call it R for rope, um, and then the uh, then the second piece is is this six and a half. So the R plus six and a half, and then plus this leftover piece right here is going to equal that 36 feet right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, answer these series of questions. So what do we need to find? This is always the last sentence. Well, what is the length of the first piece of rope that she cut right there? So we need to know the length of the first piece. What information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use um, uh, the total length is 36. One piece is six and a half feet, and and the other piece, the leftover piece, is seven and three fourths piece. So how are we going to uh, use this information? Well, we're going to work backwards, and what we're going to do is, you know, we we start off with uh, uh well, I'll show you here, okay. So here we go. So the length of the first uh, piece of rope, and we'll just call it R plus the length of the second piece, plus the leftover piece, and it totals uh, 36. So now we'll work backwards. Okay, so our working backwards is going to be, whoops, I went a little bit too fast. My finger got carried away. It's pressing too fast here. So the total length is 36, and we'll take off the second piece, and then we'll take off uh, the leftover piece. So that's what goes in right there. 
All right, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get common denominators right here. Well, let's just subtract these two guys right here, okay? 36 is the same as 35 plus 1, but our 1 is going to be 2 over 2, so we can subtract off 1 over 2 right here, okay? So th now it's 35 and 2 over 2 minus 6 and 1 over 2, so 35 minus 6 is going to be uh, 29. Okay, and then 2 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is going to be 1 over 2. So those first two give us 29 and a half. All right, now we'll get a common denominator, which in these guys is 4 right here. So our, uh, we'll change this to 2 over 4 because 1 half is the same as 2 over 4. And I think I just slid it up over here. Yep. Okay, and then... Uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, use that same trick right here. So 29 and 2 over 4, because we can't subtract 2 over 4 minus 3 over 4. So we have to borrow, and then they call it renaming in this textbook. So what we did is we renamed this 29 and 2 over 4. Here it is right here. It's equal to 28 plus 4 over 4. So there's my 29 right there, because this is 1 plus 2 over 4, okay? So we just add the 4 over 4 plus 2 over 4 gives us 6 over 4, okay? So 29 and 2 over 4 is the same as 28 and 6 over 4. Remember the trick. When you borrow from this guy, you just change the numerator, and the numerator is the sum of these two, 4 plus 2, so it's 6 right there. All right, let's go back up here. So now we can subtract them now. So 6 over 4 minus 3 over 4 is 3 over 4, and 28 minus that 7 is 21. So 21 and 3 over 4, okay? All right, always answer the question. So the length of the first piece cut was going to be is uh, 21 and 3 fourths of a foot right there, 21 and 3 fourths feet. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. I hope you're having a great year, you guys.